What's going on guys? Danny here from Metal Couch and I'm doing another review request before we get into some new material and this one comes from Bob Jones on YouTube who would like me to have a listen at Carcass's Heartwork from 1993. Now for reference I listened to the latest remastering of this album so I have no idea how the original had sounded. I just found it on Spotify and gave it a listen. So <clears throat> My experience with Carcass is that uh, I have no experience with them. A uh, few years ago at my first Maryland Death Fest they were playing, and I decided to get drunk with some friends in the hotel room rather than go see Carcass, and unfortunately we also missed out on Venom that night. So that's my experience with Carcass. Now, if I remember correctly, Michael Amont is somehow attributed to this band. In fact, I, looking at the lineup here, I believe he played on this album. And I know that he's done some things with Arch Enemy before, and, well, Arch Enemy is not exactly... is not exactly good, we'll just put it that way. So, with that reputation in mind, uh, going into Carcass... I didn't want to bring any negativity to it because people can play in different bands that are com have completely different musical styles. I mean, take a look around, you can find countless guitarists who have done different genres, but that's not really the case here. Um, I can't really classify what kind of genre this might go into other than it's just an awesome sounding album. Uh, going through the tracks here, the first three tracks got me hooked into this album. It is a great way to open up, especially the chorus riffing for No Love Lost, the third track on the album. It's something that I've noticed, in, in, and it's an album type I haven't listened to in a while, and that's a guitar-centric album, which is nothing but awesome riffs, awesome solos, in your face. You know, this album is incredibly guitar-centric, and I'm thankful for that because, as I had said, it's been a while since I've listened to something like that. But going through the rest of the tracks, you know, I can't really think of a bad track off of this album. They all, however, towards the end of the album, they sort of blend together, which, depending on your perspective, could be a good thing, a bad thing. For me, it wasn't really much of a problem with this song, except that, well, the short run times of the majority of the tracks, you know, it's kind of hard to keep track of, hey, what song am I listening to now? So, the only thing about this album that I'm going to have a problem with is similar to what happened with Van Held is that there is a track title on here that I cannot pronounce. I'm not even going to try it because I will butcher it. <laughs> um, but production-wise, this is a sound album, at least the remaster is. Um, I sh really should have gone back to listen to the uh, what the original mix was like. But overall, this is a very well-produced album. Um, all I can really say is, is that this is a solid release. I haven't listened to anything else in this band's discography, so I may go back and to the beginning of their discography and start listening, as opposed to maybe some of their modern stuff. I have not heard very favorable things about their modern discography. But, again... Opinions, all subjective. Um, I'm overall positive about this album. The guitar playing is fantastic, some really great riffs, and it's not very often that I stumble upon an album that was released in the 90s that is as solid as this. Um, the 90s, I think a lot of people can agree, in some aspects, was a very dark time for heavy metal, and uh, this is one of those albums which they really try to make sure that you are not alone in the metal community. So if I had to give this album a grade out of 10, I would give it a 7.5 easily. Uh, it's leaning more towards an 8, but I'm going to have to go with a 7.5 mostly because you start getting into the later part of this album and they all kind of blend together to the point where I don't even know which track that we're on. But those first... the first side of this album is incredibly solid, really great guitar work on this album, and that's what really makes this album shine. So 7.5 for me, Danny here from Metal Couch, signing out.